You can't know where you're going unless you know where you've been. The old saying rings true for the president of the Kingsbridge Historical Society, Nick Dembowski, who provided a historical overview of the Van Cortlandt area of the Bronx. So as I researched other topics in local history, whenever I was in a um, archives or a library and I saw something related to the Van Cortlandts, I took a copy. And so over the years of researching local history, I developed a pretty good picture of what went on here. I have some transitions where you see a, an original map from the 17th century, 18th century, and I, you know, using software, transition that to a current day satellite photo. According to the Kingsbridge Historical Society, each photo dates back to the 17th century, providing greater historical and geographical context for Bronxites. Former president of the Kingsbridge Historical Society, Peter Ostrander, emphasized the importance of not only knowing this history, but also keeping it alive. Each new generation comes into whether it's the South Bronx or Riveta, they just don't know it, you know, and it's not taught in schools. So we try to keep that alive, you know, by having periodic meetings explaining the history of the area. The presentation also featured the history of the Van Cortlandt family, an early yet prominent family of Dutch origins whose settlement in New York marked the beginning of an impactful legacy. Libraries publishing their, their contents of their collections were able to get a much bigger um, volume of primary source material and were able to tell that story of this early American family. I found a book, a letter book, of Jacobus Van Cortlandt who was the, a big merchant and a two-time mayor of New York City. And his, his letter book is in the University of Wisconsin. Dembowski also emphasized why the Van Cortland story is so relevant for New Yorkers today. The story of the Van Cortlands is the story of so many New Yorkers, of being you know, immigrants coming to the big city, and they happened to come at a time, get in on the ground floor, and they made it big in the 1600s. To learn more about the Kingsbridge Historical Society, visit their website at www.kingsbridgehistoricalsociety.org. Reporting for BronxNet, Stephen Powell.